Tom, it's great to see you back in an Ulster jersey. Yeah, it's great to be back. It's been a while. Um, you know, I've had a great uh, couple of years over in Wales, but you know, Ulster is my home, and I'm delighted to be back. And uh, you know, looking forward to a big season. Well, you left for, uh, for Wales five years ago, and South Wales has been good to you. It was. Um, it was a bit of a gamble going over there in the first place, but uh, you know, I've made a lot of great mates over there. Um, I really enjoyed the rugby, and uh, I think I've learned a lot. So, you know, coming back to Ulster, hopefully, I'll try and bring some of that with me. And uh, you know, I'm looking forward to obviously catching up with all the boys. I've still remained close to a lot of the fellas since I've left, so um, it's great to be back here again. Well, the Ospreys had sort of mixed success. They did well in the Celtic League, not so much, so well in the Heineken Cup. Yeah, we won the league twice uh, in the four years I was there, um, but unfortunately in the Heineken Cup we struggled quite a bit. So, uh, you know, I think with Ulster success certainly last year in the Heineken Cup, I th think that's definitely a focus for us. And, um, you know, hopefully we'll be able to try and do the full package this year. Your success in Wales also brought you back into the Ireland team, and you had considerable uh, uh, success in the pitch with them. Yeah, I think that's the you know having to go over there and really test myself and really. Uh, to, to go into a new team you really have to push yourself and I think that that really spurred me on uh, and I think that that you know, pushed me on to get me into the Irish team, back into the Irish team again. Um, you know, I've enjoyed my time back in the Ireland team and hopefully coming to Ulster it's going to have a similar, uh, similar effect. You know, there's a lot of young players playing very well here at the minute and experienced players so I'm going to have to work very hard to get myself into the Ulster team and hopefully that will uh, push me on to try and keep going in the Irish team. While there in Wales also you, you were capped as a, a Lion, uh, the Church of South Africa, you played in all three tests. And the last test you actually played in the centre, is that a position you would favour in the future? Um. I, I, again in Wales with the Ospreys, I got to play a lot at, at centre, um, at full back and on the wing, and I, you know I enjoyed mixing it up. It kind of kind of keeps it fresh again for me. It keeps you uh, you know working on different areas of your game, different skills. And I think they all have a, a they all help each other in ways. So it's, I definitely wouldn't rule out playing centre. I do enjoy playing there. It was obviously great to to, to start in the the third test for the Lions in, in, at thirteen. And uh, you know who knows going forward when I start to slow up a bit, maybe that might be a place to be. <laughs> Well, Paddy will like to hear that. <laughs> um, there was a lot of speculation about your return to Ireland uh, and where you would play. I guess there wasn't much uh, decision making to be made from you. No, Ulster, no. Ulster always the choice. Yeah, of course. Uh, you know, I, I think whenever uh, I knew Ulster were interested in getting me back, it was always, uh, you know, it was pretty much it was always going to be the team that I wanted to go to. I think that from whenever I left, they were all very good. You know, it obviously wasn't the done thing leaving, um, but they they always remained to say that the door would always be open, and they, you know, I enjoyed coming back for the odd match to watch in Ravenhill and I always got a great reception here the crowd have been fantastic so um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to getting back I I'm delighted I picked Ulster I was al always going to come back to Ulster at some stage and uh, you know it's great to just uh, to be back here again That was a question I was wanting to ask you is it difficult playing against Ulster um, having been here having so many friends in the team you came back here one night and scored a try in this end Yeah I did um, yeah, I enjoyed it. I think I only played here once, I think, and um, I got a great reception from the crowd. Um, I know that I got a great reception from the boys at the bottom of a few of the rocks as well. <laughs> but uh, it was a funny one. It, it's not something I really enjoyed, to be honest with you. But, uh, you know, at the end of the day, it's, uh, it's, I'm back here now in the white jersey. Well, after the England game this year, Twickenham, you went off and had some surgery. How's your recovery going? It's coming on well. Uh, you know, I've pretty much just had three months complete rest. Which for me, having uh, been very lucky in the past couple of years, I haven't had too many injuries. And it was great to just get a bit of time off and you know rest my legs, rest the body, and rest my head. So I think uh, it, it it's been perfect for me. The the recovery is coming on well. I'm hoping to be back into pre season within the next week or two, and uh, you know hopefully ready to go for the start of the season. Hopefully, looking forward to meeting JD. Definitely not looking <laughs> forward to meeting JD. Uh, no. Uh, Fitness coaches are the people we dread to meet uh, when it comes to pre-season. But you know, get the first week, our first two weeks out of the way, and uh, hopefully it'll be it'll be run smoothly from there. You've already mentioned the Ravenhill crowd and the welcome you got. How much are you looking forward to coming back onto this pitch in front of the home crowd? Uh, that's the, you know that's the one thing that uh, you know it, over in Wales that they do really struggle with the crowds. And it's the one thing that I have such memories from it, playing in Ravenhill. Whenever I was coming out in, in the Ulster jersey, that the crowd uh, 
you know, they generally do make the hairs on the back of your neck stand up, and that's that's one of the things that I'm really, really looking forward to. And the message is, Tommy's back, and you want the fans back. Of course, yeah, of course. You know, it's great. You know, I'm delighted to be back, myself and Roger Wilson. And, uh, you know, we hope that everybody else who, you know, past season ticket holders will uh, come in and renew their tickets or, you know, turn up for the matches, because, you know, it's all about the support here, and I think that the Ulster are definitely a team going forward. Well, you missed the tour to New Zealand. Um, you just watched that third test this morning. Uh, what did you make of it all? It was, you know, tough work. I mean, I think it's been a, a very, very long season for the boys. You could see that they just look so knackered going into the second half. You know, they just their heads were down, but there just was nothing left in the engine anymore. I think, you know, those guys have been going off for pretty much twelve months solid at this stage. I think they're they're well due a break. Um, it's a long old season, and to go and play the All Blacks is never going to be easy, especially in three tests. So. Um, I think that the the match last week, uh, it was an outstanding performance for Ireland. It was heartbreaking at the end the way it finished, um, and I'd say the New Zealanders got uh, you know a serious uh, bit of stick for that for that result, and, and you can see it today in their performance. They're so clinical, and it just shows that you know if we Ireland want to be competing at the top level, that's where we got to be. Uh, that's where we got to be playing. Tommy, many thanks for chatting this morning. Really looking forward to seeing you back in that Ulster jersey. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you.